The Phoenix Suns have tied this series up. They win game four, 129 to 124. And what do you know? We got a series. People who thought this series was done after the Nuggets took a two to nothing series lead. Well, this series is far from over. They say a series officially starts once a row team wins. So right now that is anybody's for the taking as I got to be honest with all of you. I'm feeling really good about my Phoenix Suns and six prediction after this win. I thought the Denver Nuggets needed to go up 3-1 for them to win this series. And when you look at the Denver Nuggets, they spoiled a 53-point Nikola Jokic performance. Jamal Murray had 28, and they still weren't able to come away with the W. Phoenix did a great job at home, winning again. I know they won game three, but you still had some doubt in your mind there was a lot of questions coming out of that game whether or not the suns could do it again and make this a series well you look at the phoenix suns it starts and ends with their dynamic duo the best duo in the nba right now when kevin durant and devin booker are playing like this the phoenix suns are just so tough to beat Kevin Durant had 36 points. Devin Booker continues to show why he is the best shooting guard in the league. And Devin Booker is now coming off two back-to-back -back stellar games. I mean, Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, when these guys get it going, you know they're going to be tough to stop. But then the Phoenix Suns are even more dangerous and extra lethal when they finally get some support. And the biggest question mark when it comes to the Suns team is are they going to have that supporting cast consistently come through you're not worried about KD getting his you're not worried about Devin Booker it's the other guys and DeAndre Aiden he only had eight points eight rebounds in this one but you look at the unsung hero for this game four victory for the Phoenix Suns Landry Shamit I'm not sure if I was watching Landry Shamit in this game or Ray Allen Shamit absolutely delivered when he needed to he had four three-pointers in the fourth 19 points in 30 minutes from off the bench. The Suns needed this for Shamit. And everybody in Phoenix owes this guy an apology. Shamit was lights out. And just when they needed a boost, just when they needed somebody outside of KD and D-Book to step up, it was Shamit. And you look at the Suns bench, it came through tonight. You got 19 from Shamit. You got 8 from Landale. TJ Warren had 5. Terrence Ross had 8. The Phoenix Suns bench outscored the Nuggets bench big time. I mean, the Nuggets bench only had 11 points. Meanwhile, the Phoenix Suns bench had 40 points. Huge discrepancy there. And if the Suns can continue to get contributions like that from their bench, and a guy like Shamit can hit threes and be a factor, this Suns team is going to be absolutely tough to beat. As you look at the stats in this game, both teams shot pretty identical from the field. Sun shot 56.8%. The Sun shot 44.8% from deep. The Nuggets gonna buy a three. They shot only seven to 22. The Suns got to the free throw line 29 times. Suns were plus six in the total rebounds. Assists were pretty identical. The Suns were plus three with their blocks. Turnovers, the Suns actually had six more turnovers than Denver. And points in the paint, I mean, Denver absolutely dominated that stat because again, Jokic, went off he had 53 points but it did not matter when the phoenix suns can win a game in which nikola Jokic had a 50 plus point game you gotta be feeling good about yourself and Jokic made all the headlines in this game not only for putting up a 50 piece but he got into it with the sun's owner he uh was caught shoving him Jokic, i mean he did all he could but ultimately the phoenix suns were too much and the phoenix suns without chris paul once again in this one they find a way to even up the series. And this is such a huge win for them because if you're Phoenix, you got to be gaining a whole ton of confidence, right? I know these games weren't landslide wins. They weren't statement wins. They weren't blowout wins. But they were two solid wins against the number one seed in the Denver Nuggets. And the Phoenix Suns, they not only tie this thing up, but they're starting to figure things out. They're starting to get other guys producing and you know Kevin Durant is going to continue to bring it. Devin Booker appears like he's getting better. By the way, Book was only three rebounds away from a triple-double. And Durant was only four assists away from a triple-double. So these guys, I can't say enough good things about how well they played as a duo. The Denver Nuggets, all the pressure's on them now. If Phoenix can go into Denver and steal a game, 
my Suns in six prediction might come to life because this seems like it is going to be a series that comes down to the first team to hit a road win is going to win it. And you look at how the Suns played in games one and games two, there was obviously a clear discrepancy, right? You were worried as a Phoenix Suns fan watching those games and especially after Chris Paul was ruled out for the next couple of games of the series, there was a lot of doubt. But Phoenix, they were resilient, and it doesn't matter how you win these games, it's just about winning them. And you look at the Phoenix Suns, man, I mean, this is a team that they're all in right now. There's a lot of pressure on them to deliver, and they could have easily folded, they could have easily went away, but when push came to shove and this Phoenix Suns team needed to respond at home, that's exactly what they did. So I think the Suns are going to go on to win this series. Like I mentioned at the beginning, Denver needed to go up 3-1. And they essentially let Landry Shamit beat him in the fourth quarter. That is not a recipe for success if you're the Denver Nuggets. I mean, if you're the Nuggets, you got to be kicking yourself right now. Because again, you spoiled two big individual performances. A huge one from Jokic. And then in the fourth quarter, you let Landry Shamit shoot the way that he did. And that ultimately had the Suns pull them away from the Nuggets in this game. So the Phoenix Suns, man, I mean, this is a team that you can't forget about. They've been highly touted for a reason. And whenever you got two superstars on one team, you can never write them out. You can never count them out. And I just want to see more from DeAndre Aiden. That's the one thing I want to say. I know DeAndre Aiden has been getting a lot of flack lately and a lot of people in Phoenix have been impatient with him and frustrated with him. If DeAndre Aiden can just play even a little bit better, even 10% better, it's going to help this team so much. Like, he is just getting absolutely outplayed right now and destroyed in his head-to-head -head with Nikola Jokic. But if DeAndre Aiden can just produce a little bit more, give you some more points, this Suns team is going to be that much more lethal. And Chris Paul hopefully can return soon. Phoenix, that's what it's going to take for them. If they can get other guys that just play 10% better each time and you count on KD and, and, and Booker doing their things, I mean, this Phoenix Suns team, there's a reason why they were, you know, many people's favorites, my favorite to get out of the West and compete for a championship. So that's what I look for the rest of the series. Can DeAndre Aiden just be a little bit better? Can this guy be the DeAndre Aiden Suns fans had been hoping for because I think the sense among Suns fans is listen they want to get through obviously this playoff series they want to win this playoff series they want to win a title but when you look at DeAndre Aiden he's definitely not been the guy that Suns fans had hoped and even Chris Paul he's getting up there in age there's this is yet another Chris Paul postseason injury which is very unfortunate but if the Suns can somehow survive this and win, they'll tell you a lot about, you know, the two guys anchoring the ship. And just to give you more about Booker and Durant and speak more about their excellence. So they have combined to score 158 points in the Suns' two wins in Phoenix. Per ESPN Stats Info, only one duo in NBA history scored more during the span of two playoff games. Michael Jordan and Orlando Woolridge. The Phoenix Suns, they do what they needed to do. They get in to Phoenix down 0-2 and they will leave Phoenix tied at two games apiece now all eyes will be on game five on Tuesday can the Phoenix Suns carry what's been working for them and take some of the positives from these wins go into a very tough place to play in Denver and get one all you need if you're the Suns is one win in Denver it's been just an amazing offensive showcase these last two games particularly from Devin Booker he needed to be big going in, especially when the Suns had no outside production going into these games. Playoff book is something special, man. He continues to be lights out. He continues to be dominant. He was great in round one. He's been phenomenal here in round two. You can make a case outside of Jimmy Butler. Devin Booker has been the second best player in these playoffs. So if he continues to play like that, you know what KD is going to give you. He's not going to have too many off games. And if Shamit can continue to be a sharpshooter, that might be enough for the Suns to get by the series. So I'm looking forward to game five. Like I said, I'm feeling good about my Suns in six prediction. And the Suns, they'll have a chance to go up three games to two. 
as they are now just two wins away from getting back to the Western Conference Finals. This has been a great series, though. It's been a fun one. The Denver Nuggets are no joke, man. This is a very talented team. This is a very deep team. So anytime you're able to get a couple wins against them, it says a lot about your basketball team. This is not going to be a quick series and not going to be a short series. This series is going to be a fight to the bitter end. So we will see how the Suns play from here on out. But Suns fans, how are you feeling after that one? Who do you got winning the series, guys, after four games are in the books? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Please hit a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Suns, Nuggets, series content, and other NBA content as well. This is Lucas signing off. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all again in the next video.